my marriage is falling apart because of my sister's wedding. My wife thinks I'm going to cheat at a bachelorette party. This is insane. My wife and I have been married for two years and together for four. My sister is getting married next year and asked me to be the man of honor and also walk her down the aisle. Now, this wasn't really a surprise to me when my sister asked me to walk her down the aisle. We suffered a pretty horrible childhood at the hands of our father, who was just a monster. We relied on each other and became super close. However, we survived and persevered and we are really happy with where we both are at life right now. We're both in therapy as we still have some mental scars from our childhood. While it wasn't a surprise to me that my sister asked me to walk her down the aisle, I was surprised when she asked me to be the man of honor because I wasn't sure what the MOH duties were as a man. But my sister wanted me to be there every step of the way leading up to the wedding. At so far, I definitely have done a lot of the things an MOH does. I thought it would be sort of awkward with my sister's bridesmaids as I didn't really know them too much and I'm the only man. But they're really friendly and it hasn't been awkward at all. There is the bachelorette party planned in a few months, which is a weekend getaway to a resort. Before planning the party, I really thought this would be a girl's trip, but both my sister and her bridesmaids too really wanted me to come. However, when I told my wife about it, she was surprised and asked if she could be invited to the bachelorette party too. I asked my sister about it and my sister said she wanted to celebrate the bachelorette party with the people she was closest to in life and the people she was really comfortable with and she wouldn't really feel comfortable if my wife was there. But my wife wasn't really happy with that answer and we ended up having lots of discussions on it. My wife finally admitted that she was insecure I would go on a weekend gateway at a resort with the bridesmaids who were beautiful. I was shocked with what my wife said and I reassured my wife I love her. I finally told my wife this was my sister's wedding and to not make it about her. I told my wife she cannot come to party just because she's insecure. Ata, update one. All right, so after the whole conversation with my wife about the bachelorette party, I thought things were settled, but nope, it was just the beginning. A few days later, my wife brought it up again, but this time she framed it differently. She said she wasn't trying to ruin my relationship with my sister, but that she didn't think it was appropriate for me to be surrounded by a bunch of women at a resort, drinking and partying, even if it was for my sister. I told her again, this wasn't just some random party. It was my sister's wedding celebration, and it was important for her that I was there. My wife just gave me this look, like she was trying to figure out how to say something without making it worse. Eventually, she goes, I just don't see how it's okay for a married man to be in that situation. What if people think it's weird? I straight up laughed because, like, who even cares what other people think? I told her that if my sister and her friends were fine with it, and I was fine with it, why would anyone else's opinion matter? She didn't laugh. She just said, well, I matter, and I think it's inappropriate. At that point, I started getting really frustrated because we've had this exact conversation already. I told her, look, I'm not canceling on my sister because you're insecure about something that isn't even an issue. You know me, you know I'm not going to be weird or do anything inappropriate, so why are you making this into something it's not? She said, it's not about you being inappropriate. It's about the optics. People will judge us as a couple. They'll think you're choosing them over me. And I just lost it a little because, like, where is this even coming from? I told her, this is about my sister, not you. Nobody is judging you because you're not invited. My sister literally just wants to celebrate with her closest people. It's not a personal attack on you. But she wouldn't let it go. She started crying and saying that she feels excluded and that it's not fair. And honestly, I started to feel a little bad because I could see that this was genuinely bothering her. But at the same time, I don't think I'm wrong here. Like my sister and I went through so much growing up. We leaned on each other when things were at their worst. She's my family and this is her big day. If she wants me to be there, I'm going to be there, period. Then my wife hit me with, do you even understand how this looks to me? You're willing to go off for a weekend with a group of beautiful women and I'm supposed to just sit at home and be okay with that. I told her, yes, because I love you and you're supposed to trust me. This isn't about them being beautiful or whatever. They're my sister's friends. That's it. I'm not looking at them like that and honestly, it's insulting that you think I would. 
She said it's not about trust, it's about respect. She feels like I'm not respecting her feelings by refusing to even consider her perspective. I told her I've been considering it, but her perspective doesn't change the fact that this is my sister's wedding and it's important to her that I'm involved. I asked her, what would you do if this was your brother or your best friend asking you to do this? Would you tell them no because I didn't want you around their friends? She didn't answer that. Instead, she said, this just feels like the start of you prioritizing her over me. What's next? Are you going to put her first in every situation? And that really hurt because it's not like I'm choosing one over the other. My sister isn't asking me to pick sides. She's just asking me to show up for her wedding stuff. It's not like I'm ignoring my wife or neglecting her needs. I've been trying to make her feel secure, but it's like nothing I say is enough. Things were pretty tense after that. She stopped talking to me about it for a few days, but I could tell she was still upset. Then, out of nowhere, she tells me she wants to go to therapy together. That threw me off because, while I'm not against therapy, I didn't think our relationship was in a place where we needed it. I asked her why she felt like we needed therapy, and she said, I think we need to work on communication and making sure we're on the same page before this becomes a bigger issue. At first, I didn't know how to respond. I mean, it's not like I'm against working on our relationship, but it felt like she was making this whole thing a bigger deal than it needed to be. I told her, if you really feel like therapy is necessary, then okay, I'll go. But I don't think this is about communication. I think it's about you being insecure, and I can't fix that for you. You have to work on that yourself. She didn't take that well. She said, see, this is why we need therapy. You're dismissing my feelings instead of trying to understand them. And I get that, I really do, but at the same time, I feel like I've been doing everything I can to make her feel better about this. I've reassured her, I've explained my side, and I've even agreed to therapy, but she's still acting like I'm the bad guy here. Now I'm stuck in this weird spot where I feel like I'm being pulled in two different directions. On one hand, I want to be there for my sister because she's my family and this is her big day. On the other hand, I don't want my wife to feel like I'm ignoring her feelings or not prioritizing our marriage. But I don't think skipping the bachelorette party is the solution because that's just going to hurt my sister and make me feel like I'm letting her down. And I'm I've talked to a couple of my friends about this and they're split. Some of them think my wife is overreacting and needs to chill, while others think I should compromise and skip the party to keep the peace. But I don't think that's fair to my sister. She didn't do anything wrong here. She's just trying to celebrate her wedding, and she wants me to be a part of it. So now I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. I want to be a good husband, but I also want to be a good brother. And right now it feels like I can't be both. I don't know. Maybe therapy will help us figure it out, but I'm not sure. All I know is that this whole situation is stressing me out way more than it should, and I just wish my wife could see that this isn't a competition between her and my sister. Update 2 all right, so things escalated way more than I thought they would after my wife suggested therapy. We went to our first session together, and it was awkward, to say the least. The therapist asked us to explain the issue from both of our perspectives. I went first and laid everything out. I said it's not about disrespecting my wife or ignoring her feelings. It's about supporting my sister on one of the most important days of her life. I also mentioned how this whole thing feels like it's spiraled into something bigger than it needs to be. When it was my wife's turn, she got emotional, which surprised me because I wasn't expecting her to open up so much. She said that this isn't just about the bachelorette party, it's about a pattern she's noticed where she feels like she comes second to my sister. She brought up things I didn't even realize were issues, like how I always drop everything to help my sister when she needs me or how I talk to her on the phone for hours sometimes. She said she feels like she's competing for my attention and losing. Hearing that was kind of a punch to the gut, because I genuinely didn't see it that way. I mean, yeah, my sister and I are close, but I never thought it was at the expense of my relationship with my wife. I tried to explain that my bond with my sister is different because of our shared history and that it doesn't mean I care about my wife any less. The therapist jumped in and said it sounds like my wife is feeling insecure about her place in my life and that I need to find ways to reassure her while still maintaining my relationship with my sister. So we left that session with homework. My wife and I were supposed to sit down and come up with boundaries that we both feel comfortable with. 
I thought, okay, this could work. Maybe if we hash it out together, we can finally move past this. Spoiler, it did not go smoothly. When we sat down to talk, my wife said one of her boundaries was that I shouldn't be spending weekends away with other women, even if it's for my sister. She also said she'd feel better if I didn't go to the bachelorette party at all. I told her that skipping the party wasn't an option because my sister would be hurt, and I don't want to let her down. That led to another argument where she said, So your sister's feelings matter more than mine? I told her that's not what this is about, but she wouldn't budge. Then she said something that really threw me off. She asked, Do you even want to be married? Because right now it feels like you care more about being a good brother than being a good husband. That hit me hard because, yeah, I want to be married, I love my wife, but I also love my sister and I don't see why those two things have to be in conflict. I told her, I want to be both. I want to be a good husband and a good brother. I don't think it's fair to ask me to choose. She said, sometimes you have to choose. That's what marriage is. And I just sat there, stunned, because is that really what marriage is? Choosing one person over everyone else in your life? That feels wrong to me. I told her, I'm not choosing anyone. I'm just trying to show up for the people I care about. She said, well, right now it feels like you're showing up for her at my expense. Things were at a stalemate and I was starting to feel like we weren't getting anywhere. That's when my wife dropped the bombshell. She had already told my sister that I might not be going to the bachelorette party. She said she thought it was better to warn her now so she wouldn't be blindsided later. I was furious. I asked her, why would you do that without talking to me first? She said she was trying to be proactive and that it was clear I wasn't willing to consider her feelings so she felt like she had to step in. At that point, I texted my sister to see what exactly my wife had told her. My sister replied with, She said you're not sure if you can come because you don't want to upset her. Are you okay? I told her I'd explain everything later, but I was so pissed that my wife took it upon herself to speak for me. I told her, You had no right to do that. This is between me and my sister. You can't just make decisions for me. She said, well, someone has to since you're not making the right ones. After that, I needed space. I left the house for a few hours to clear my head and when I came back, my wife had packed a bag and was staying with a friend for the night. She left me a note that said, I need time to think. Let me know when you're ready to put our marriage first. So now I'm sitting here, completely drained and trying to figure out what to do. I feel like I'm being backed into a corner where no matter what I do, Someone I care about is going to get hurt. My wife is making this about our marriage, but to me it's about honoring the bond I have with my sister. I don't want to lose either of them, but it feels like my wife is forcing me to pick sides. Meanwhile, my sister is texting me, asking if everything is okay and if there's anything she can do to help. I haven't told her the full story yet because I don't want to drag her into this more than she already is, but I feel like I'm running out of options. If I skip the party, I'm betraying my sister. If I go, I'm risking my marriage. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something here, but it feels like this whole thing has spiraled into something way bigger than it needs to be. I just want to support my sister without it turning into a crisis in my marriage. Is that really too much to ask?